So, Cody, what was the difference between the first half and the second half? It looks like the um, first few minutes of the second half, the game kind of got away from you. Um, kind of came out a little stagnant. Kind of were a little, little tired to start off, and then we kind of picked it back up, and they made a, quite a few threes to get going right there, and we kind of were behind quick, and, but we never gave up. We kept fighting until the very last minute, and if we can keep playing like that, I mean, winning or loss, I love playing games like that. Are you guys able to draw more from the energy just in the, in the building tonight at all? The fact that they had, they had a lot of fans and the ASU fans were pretty active. Yeah, it definitely helps to have a lot of people there, adrenaline going. Uh, just hope to see that more often and uh, just root us on. There was a lot of plays where I got motivated. I, I know my teammates got motivated from just having people, you know, cheering us on. So, you know, we have that on a consistent basis. Uh, we're going to compete at a high level and try to win against good teams like today. That's a really good offensive basketball team. Do you guys like the defensive intensity more today than you have in some games this season, some of the games this year? I mean, yeah, there's some games where I feel like we're really intense and we pick up on defense and we're all over flying all over the place and we're taking charges and blocking shots and diving on the ground uh, for loose balls. And I felt we had that today. And when we play like that, it's, like you said, it's exciting to play. It gets the crowd going, gets us going, and then we can when we get stops and go on the offensive end, we got a lot of people who can score the ball. They're known as a really good shooting team. They had 14 or 25 threes tonight. What do you think about the, the quality of their shots? Were they getting too many open shots, or was it okay? Or what do you think about it? I mean, yeah, they got they got open shots when they. Get, uh, a couple guards got loose here and there. We missed a couple coverages, but th like you said, they shoot what 55% as a team on a lot most teams. So it was it was tough. Like they they made difficult shots. They hit open shots. When a team comes in here and it's 14 threes, it's hard to come out with a victory. But I felt like with our effort, we we were still in there competing. There's a lot of that uh, perimeter defense where they get kickouts. I mean, what, what do you think leads to that, Trey? Uh, myself and the rest of the cars got to do a better containing the guards from getting the key. But uh, our, our, our mindset was to, you know, have the guards shoot over the bigs and uh, stay with the wings. So next time we come with a team that plays similar to them, we got to do that better. And then it will uh, limit less to our members. How difficult is it for you guys in stamina-wise? You're playing with a short bench now and everything. A lot of guys got to play a lot of minutes. I mean, we're young. <laughs> uh, it, it, that's what we're here to do. We're here to play basketball. So if somebody's playing 30, 35 minutes, that's, we're, we're going to get in the cold tub and get ready for their Thursday. So it is what it is. We're kind of just happy to be here to keep playing. I saw some great hustle there towards the latter part of the second half. It was, it was pretty to watch. Um, you guys think you'll continue with that? Uh, can you start that kind of intensity all game long? Yeah, um, I think we played really scrappy, probably one of our most scrappy games during the season. And uh, we had our chance. All right, we had our chances, and uh, we'll watch film tomorrow and see what we can do and and what we did in the second half that got them that lead. But in the most, in the beginning of the game, we was up. I think they didn't hit much threes in the beginning, and then uh, we let loose. So we're in shape. We just can't have those uh, mental breakdowns. The big, the big. Yeah, but I mean, they, they yeah. ain't really kill us inside. I think it was more perimeter shooting. Most teams yeah. are big, and we're, we're a smaller team, but with our scrappiness and our hustle and our fight, what's different from 6'6 six, six and 6'9? Six, like, yeah. We got guards who are athletic, who are big, who are strong. So we're not too worried about like big guys. Like We're, we're going to be scrappy and doubling the post and rotating, and that's just who we're going to have to be this year with younger guys like Jethro and Andre Adams kind of getting in the role and getting used to college basketball with right now we're just going to be scrappy as with us, us guards and when they get their minutes they're just getting reps to kind of get ready to prepare themselves for the uh, Pac-12 play. How do you think Jethro is coming along? I mean from where he was from day one to where he's at it's tremendous to see where he and the sky's the limit still for him because he's he's just a defensive player for us right now when he wait till he gets an offensive game he, he he's understanding the uh, like our offense and he's understanding defensive schemes and things and the more and more he picks up the better he's going to keep getting.